in India A. So I'll just give everybody a minute to get their supplies. You will need your ink, something to catch the ink in, and uh, some brushes. Oh, so they don't need water today? Oh, they do. I forgot my water. Okay. I'll get my water right now, everybody. You okay. also need some water. So I'll be right back with that. Does everybody have their supplies? I think we're good to go. Okay, so let me share my screen. Um, you guys can take a picture of this. So we're just working off a stock image today. Uh, we're going to make like a ink. Hold on, hold on. Uh, how do I zoom in? There we go. Really, really nice picture. So everyone can go ahead and um, take a picture. Okay, I think we're good. So let's begin um, by sketching our force today. I think I will start by landmarking where I want my horse to be. So he's going to be quite large. My paper is quite big today. I'm uh, gonna do, so grab a pencil or you can use your ink directly. It doesn't matter too much. Let's put his head. I'm going to put it here. I'm just going to draw a line where his head is and a line for around where his feet will be. Let me see. Okay. So he's going to be about this tall. Okay, and he's gonna be, I think, uh, let's start with proportioning out the body of the horse. So when you get an object like this, you want to look at the shapes within the object. So what shapes does this horse comprise of? I see for his head, a circle, I see an oval for his body. So these are my two main shapes. And I also see almost like maybe a rectangle, even a triangle for his neck. So let's begin with his body. Uh, I'm going to place it around here. You can go back and fix your shape later. Right now we're just landmarking where these things would be. Maybe he is not this long.
Okay, my eraser has disappeared today. So these extra lines are here to stay. Let's create his neck and head now. So um, the neck is quite small actually. I know this looks a little funny right now, but the proportions of this horse are foreshortened, which means the perspective is a little strange because he's coming towards us. Okay, let's make the head. So you have your circular oval shape. Okay, that's around what his head would be. And you can elongate it. Don't worry about the hair right now. The body of the horse is actually quite large. It's larger than you think it is. And then we can, from here, we can start to map out the front part of his body and the back part of his body. First, you can place a marker for where your hair, what you want your hair to look like. So. So you know that your hair, oh, I can't see that. Your hair is something like that up there. You can draw a line down the horse's face to help you, the center line is actually not in the center. It's off towards the side. And you can add that line in if you need the help later to mark out the rest of the horse's features. Again, my horse is too long. I don't think the horse is actually this long. So I'll fix it in a moment. Okay, now from his neck, I'm going to split his body into two. So right there where that line is, it's a bit of a slant. So it starts about halfway where this bump is and it slants down. Okay, from here, you can mark out um, sort of like the muscles in the horse. I think it splits a little bit higher than that, than what I've done. So you can. I'm not actually sure of what these are called, but there are two 
large muscles up here. This one actually extends all the way up. And it's shaped like uh, So these will be his two legs. And the perspective is really wonky on this one. So what you can do is draw in his knee with either a circle or like a shape like this. His knee is located right there. And it's foreshortened, so it's like a strange perspective. And you would connect to his leg. And then there's another joint at the bottom where his hoof is. The hooves are quite large, I think. Maybe not this large. So you get something like that. Initial sketch is not that important because when we go in with our ink, um, it's going to look a lot more fluid. <coughs> I would like to move this one up more. Same thing with the other foot or leg is note where the joint is. Uh, my body is too large actually, I think. So the joint is about here. And you just connect your lines from the muscle. And again with the hoof. <coughs> this guy be over it, something like that. I think this one actually like that. Um, I feel like my horse is too long. That's okay, you can just have tall legs. Okay. Now let's do the hind quarters. Bring that line down.
notice that there's a, like a certain curvature to the horse, right? Like where his legs are, none of these are straight lines. All of them are kind of wavy. I'm gonna move this one up. Of course, you can go in and erase some of your construction lines after This one might be thicker. Okay, and once this line is funny, once you have, hold on, there we go. Once you have finished the front part of his body, it's the same thing for the back. The back might be a little bit easier actually. So there's a bit of like a, like a muscle right here and one right there. There's definitely a challenge to this perspective. I think it's tricky. For example, my horse body, this part needs to be a lot shorter. My horse is too long. If you notice that the back part of his leg is actually very close to this mane over here. So ideally, this, the hindquarters need to be shifted by quite a bit over here. However, because my eraser is not heavy duty today, <laughs> we're just going to leave it and I will go and fix it um, later. Okay, let's finish with this leg the sketch. Quickly. This hind leg connects with this front leg right here. And because of the ground, you can't see. You can't see the hooves. So if you want, you can add some hooves. However, you might imagine those two look like. Or you can just leave it as an open fluid drawing. Then let's mark the tail.
You can also mark any other little details that you see. Or you can save it for later. Where's this horse's ears? Oh, this it's here. It's here. So it's tucked behind the hair. Like here, up here in the triangle. Like you, now you can mark the nostrils. The location will be somewhere here. And the eyeball. Be somewhere around here. And the other eye is tucked behind the nose, right over here. Let's bring his eye closer. I'm going to make up some feet for this horse. Um, well, it doesn't have them, but I will fake it. <laughs> uh, what do I want this one? Okay, so once we finish our sketch, we can take out our ink. What did we learn from this sketch? Well, we learned that the horse's body is actually a lot larger in comparison to his head.
Okay, let's begin with our ink today. So when we're doing this type of ink, it's usually quite fluid and loose. Mm -hmm. First, I will start. Juni? Yes? Do we want to check with everybody to see how their horse is doing at this stage? Sure. Okay, how is everybody doing? Does anybody need more time for the sketching part? I cannot see faces, so. Please speak up if you want to have a little more time. Everybody's okay with the horse up to this point? Good. Go, go, moment. I think they are okay. Excellent. All right. So everyone can get their ink out. And once again, we are starting with the light wash. I put way too much on here. So don't do what I did. <laughs> You 
you can try it on the side. That's probably okay. So water your gray down. This is going to be your light gray. Today, I think I will only be working with three tones. So I'm going to have a light gray, uh, a darker gray, and a black. So go ahead and mix your light gray. Okay, let's observe this animal. So the light gray areas of shading seem to be, you know what, let's do it like this. So we are going to go in and mark all the areas of shading and then darken the ones that need to be dark after. So starting with his body, this belly area here is quite dark. So I'm going to fill it in. Try to move in the direction of the horse's muscles. Remember when we mapped out his muscle groups. So you can move in the direction For example, right here, you can go along the muscle. And his neck. neck and uh, here along this joint along the side of his leg and around the hoop feel free to leave the rest white. Same thing with his other leg. We can go ahead and go along the side. along with this big muscle right here. And let's go on his belly. I want more of the belly dark. I'm going to go higher. Okay. There's like a faint shadow right up here. Well, I guess mine is not very faint, but that's okay. And Back legs again, follow the curvature of the muscle. So here, a little bit of a highlight right there. So I'm going to leave it empty and drag everything down.
And for his other foot, same thing. Okay. You can also give him some tail hairs. Your horse doesn't have to be a white horse. Maybe it's brown. If you give him tail hairs, make sure to give him mane hairs as well. This is actually totally inspired by um, those ancient Chinese ink drawings. They always seem to have horses and roosters and things like that. And for his face, the dark area is seems to be this side of the face. And right there. And the eye. And a little bit on the bottom. I'm going to take the opportunity to go in with the lightest wash. So very light gray and uh, just touch it into some areas over here. Because I know I don't want to work with the light gray again. So I'm going to just add a little bit. Add a little bit to areas where uh, the horse's body curves, like here.
Okay, once you're done with your light gray wash, you can mix a darker gray. Not black yet. Too dark. That's good. So play with it until you get a, light, a darker gray color that's not quite black yet. Okay, that's good. And we're going to use this on the darkest shadow areas. For example, his belly and back legs and a little bit neck. So let's start again with the belly. I'm not going to fill the entire thing in. Ideally, you would do this quickly and um, it can be a little bit messy, that's okay. Go down the leg. Okay. And the hoof. Oh, the hoof, I guess it's darker. You can. Oh, I don't have my light gray anymore. Hmm, that's okay. I'll just leave it for now. And then up alongside the body. And up into the neck again. On the belly. And on the legs. So that one area is really dark and so is this area. So I went in and filled in the hooves. I'm not quite sure if I like that, but that's okay. It's already done.
I think we should give the horse some tail hair. So just close to his body. I'm not gonna fill the whole thing in dark. I'm just gonna create some hair. Okay. And I have uh, right here, I have been neglecting the face. So let's do that. Be really gentle when you're doing the face. It only needs a little bit of shadow. Okay, so the eye. Oh, I made his nostril too dark. Oh well, he will have a dark nostril. Oh, that's also a mistake. <laughs> it's okay. Please don't do that. Maybe I will turn it into another horse later. So again, Take some care when you create the face.
Okay, let's get started with the black ink part. So for this part, when you guys outline, we're not going to be outlining the entire thing, just uh, certain areas. I would like everyone to switch to um, a tiny brush. So if you have a skinny brush or a tiny brush for the black outline, you'll be using that. So for this part, you can actually dip your brush straight into the ink. You don't have to take it out. The only thing is to try to make sure that this is somewhat dry so it won't bleed everywhere. Let's begin. So we are only going to be touching the areas that are already shadows. So this stuff up here, I don't think I will be outlining. Um, keep your outline lines very loose. as like a calligraphy almost. It's very interesting if they're different lengths. or sorry, different um, widths. So. so instead of aiming for accuracy, I'm going for um, sort of like a stylistic. So let's do this one here. And I would like um, you guys to play with this part. You can play with the curves of the hooves and the, the lines. They don't have to be perfect, it looks um, looks better when they're not.
this one looks funny, like, like a shoe or something. So you want to ignore a lot of the areas, like for this area, I'm probably not going to touch that anymore. Or if you want, you can just outline the entire thing. If that's something you want to do. Let's make some of the muscles in here. Just create a couple lines. That's good. I just want to play with the varying different um, thickness of lines. But again, the main idea is just to get the dark parts over here. So focus most of your lines on the uh, shadow areas.
can also give um, sort of the slight indication of the horse's joints. So if you see his joints of what I've done here, let's just draw the lightest lines to hint that there is like a bone there. Once again, I have been neglecting the face. So I'm gonna go in and add some fine detail colors to the face. So with this part, the one area of the horse that needs extra care is the eyeball here. So make sure you're happy with the placement of the eye before you put it down. Everything else could be wonky and it would look totally awesome, but that you have to be a little bit careful about. On camera, you cannot see it very well, but there's actually a space right here. It's not purely black. Mm. I do not like this line I just put in here. Now my horse looks very tired. Okay, I will stop touching that part. <laughs>
Okay, everybody, so for the hair, I am going to use a very old dry brush. I've never done this before, but I think it will create like an interesting dry brush um, look. So we'll see if this works. Yeah, that's very interesting. I like that. If you have a very dry, hard brush lying around, you can give that a try as well. Else the, the bristles, they can separate like this. That's very interesting.
Okay, so my horse is finished, but we still have some time. So while everybody else is working on their horse, I'm going to make my horse a friend. So I'm going to turn this mark into a, a different horse. You guys don't need to do this. You just continue working on yours. 